Saturday, September 2nd, just 100 days from today, the ETSU Buccaneers will kick off the 2017 schedule in their new on-campus stadium. And today you have the opportunity to tour this beautiful new facility. And here to tell us more and to preview the Bucks football season is the voice of the Bucks, Jay Sandoz, and the man himself, Carl Torbush. <laughs> Head coach, the man. Yeah, the man, I hear you. <laughs> how, how excited are you to be, to be able to say that you're going to have an on-campus stadium and you're going to be able to lead your team just right there? Well, Chris, it's a great, great opportunity. Opportunity. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all of us, players, coaches, fans. Uh, you only get to build one stadium, but uh, it, it's absolutely a beautiful facility. And I yeah. would say if you're interested in ETSU football or football in general, you need to come and have a chance to tour our stadium today, uh, the three different time slots. So I think they'll enjoy that. But uh, it's a great, great time. It's uh, obviously big for our recruiting. Right. Uh, I think it's exciting not only for our athletic program, uh, for the fans of ETSU football, but for our school as a whole, because there's no question, in my opinion, that it will help the enrollment overall. Very good. And Jay, tell us about the tours today. Give us an overall. If people show up today, you got them at 12, 3, and 6. What are folks going to expect when they show up for those tours? Well, the first thing I think they're going to be, uh, if they haven't been on campus yet, mm -hmm. they're just going to be in sort of, of um, in awe of what all has been done, especially if you haven't been over there in the last few weeks. Everything keeps going down. But they'll basically have a nice walk through. It'll start at the archway mm -hmm. uh, on the east side. And, and so uh, and they'll park near the CPA. Or there's a nice little parking lot. You'll come. You'll meet. There's a little circle you'll go from there we'll go through the archway they'll walk you through show you sort of the visiting side first and take a look at the stands and they'll take you actually all the way in the press box show you where the suites are club level seats and then really just let you take your first look at what the stadium's going to be like if you haven't been there and we've got some artist renderings we're going to put up on the screen right now coach i got to ask you this when you're looking at when when you know we got a great winter to work through i mean they had a mild oh, winter absolutely. and they got a lot done what has been your favorite aspect of this stadium from a coaching standpoint well i'm a little bit different than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I don't like to go over there every day because right. if I go over there every day, I cannot see how it's improved, how it's mm -hmm. gotten bigger and bigger and better. Better. Uh, it's kind of like our players. If I go down there and watch them lift weights and run every day, <laughs> I don't see them actually getting bigger and stronger. Right. Uh, so the opportunity to go over there about every two or three weeks just to see the the everything that has happened. Uh, it's it's really an exciting time. I'm. All of us who have anything to do with it are, are tremendously excited and proud right. to have a facility like we have it. I think it shows everyone exactly what the East Tennessee area is all about. Uh, you got a great, great view of the mountains. You got a great view of the campus. It's on campus. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting time for us. And I think everybody's excited about uh, having a new outdoor right. facility on campus. Right. And Jay, for you, you're going. he's going to be on the field. You're going to be up in the press box. Some great amenities there. And you're going to be bringing it, you know, for the fans that can't make it to the games, you're going to be there. How's that going to be for you to be able to tell the fans exactly what what that stadium's like? Well, the first thing is there's going to be an elevator. So unlike, <laughs> unlike the mini dome uh, when oh, I first I've started, right? That those steps That's that. You've been there. Yeah. you got to climb all the way to the top mm -hmm. to get it. You get it going, but to be able to open up a, a new stadium obviously is a, a dream come true for me as a lifetime Buck fan. But right. to have all the, the amenities of a of the brand new stadium, and you know, you go to where we played at Montana State, and some of the setups they had is very different than you know where we played at, at Science Hill. So I think for me, uh, it'll be great in my crew. And then of course, you know, there'll be the video board. That'll be right. something that's going to go in this year. It'll be 63 foot high. Mm -hmm. The board itself will be 25 by 45. Right. I think that's going to help out uh, folks as far as you know enjoying the game yeah. and then ESPN3 is big for so right. not only will the radio coverage be great but we'll also have great television coverage right. and video board. Coach I don't I want to wish you all the luck my friend is going to be a great season I am looking forward to kick off 100 days from today Jay thank you for coming by we got some information right now the studio stadium tours not studio stadium tours are going on today noon 3 6 p.m. right there on the campus of ETSU if you need some more information check out that number and that website